let's see how we can invite more users to our newly created subscription. So we can go here to the admin center under users, active users, and I can add more users in case I have a small company. I can add, uh, I can create accounts for all the users here. So I want Yana. And here are all the details for Fiona. I'll create a password for her. And by default, it requires the user to change the password. For now, I'll just remove that. And then there is a nice uh, wizard thingy that we have to go through all the steps. Uh, United says that's fine. Then uh, I will have to assign a license. And I have 24 left, so I'll assign license. And as part of the E3 license, there is a set of uh, apps here that Fiona can use. So I will leave all these enabled. Then I'll go next. So on this screen, uh, the wizard will ask me whether Fiona has to be an administrator. But this is Office 365 tenant administrator, meaning that she can have full control over the tenant. And this is not something I'll grant her with. I will invite her to a SharePoint site and I might make her a SharePoint site administrator but not a tenant administrator. There is a difference in the roles here. This is about the tenant and full control or partially giving her control to a specific up to the tenant. This is something I don't want to do. But if I expand that, we'll see that I can disable that and, and make her a global administrator, meaning full control of all the applications in Office 365, including Teams, um, Azure Active Directory, adding users, removing uh, users, or separate different roles here, like common specialist roles, full control over the SharePoint, or full control over Teams. This is more in the field of tenant administration, and I won't cover that in uh, further details here. So no administration access. A nice last reviewed screen and finishing, a nice last finishing screen. And usually the password is here, but uh, I made it hidden. So you don't see my password. I'll close that window. And now we have account for Fiona and I can send her all the details needed so she can log in into the Office 365. So she can start using SharePoint or Teams or any of the products under the Office 365 tenant.